Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I'm going to be making an old Cyrax video. Last night he appeared on a Kate's panel and was confronting an old friend and he was pretty irate. And I, I don't know, I think it's pretty funny, you know. It's it's going to be a very short video. There's only like five minutes, you know, of Cyrax. But, you know, it's, Cyrax is amazing, man. He really is. He never see. He says the same things, but at the same time, you, you just want to hear it again from him. You know, you want to hear the same things from Cyrax. You know, it's like, and, and and it gets, it never really gets old. You know, you take a break from Cyrax, and whenever you come back, he's still, you know, the same old Cyrax. But you know, it's funny. You know, listening to him rage out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at when he appeared on Marty's panel the other day too. But this is from last night. So yeah, let's. Uh, Let's get into this. What's up, Matt? AKA PFV. You know what's sad about you, man? This ain't gonna be that long, but I am gonna say this, Matt. You know what's sad, bro? I used to show love and support for your ass. I did. You've been one of them, you, you were a homie to me back in high school, bro. Me and you and David were cool with each other. And dude, David, who was like an older brother to me, was one of your best friends. Every fucking time you had music coming out, I was supporting you. But now, not no more. Man, what what's he going to do without Cyrax's support, man? Cyrax is very influential in the music industry, you know. He's got his uh, amazing hits. Uh, well, you know, all his hits are really that Wance Chilkins guys. You know what I mean? He that Cyrax tried to steal it from him. You know, he tried to steal his music from him. He even stole his name. That Wance Chilkins. Wance Chilkins was the original DJ Shadowblade, but uh, you know, then this imposter came up and he stole Eric Scrubbolo's name. You know, Cyrax, because it was the Cyrax Project was the name of the CD. But, yeah, let's watch some more of this. More. Oh, just for the record, every fucking track I sent your mom was 100% original, you fuckhead. You know what's sad about you, Matt? You're a fucking industry plant, little bitch. Okay. You're fake as fuck, dude. I mean, look at you. Face all tatted up, looking retarded as fuck. Talking about mainstream bullshit. That's all you talk about, man. You lost yourself, dude. And if you don't think that I can't destroy you on a track, trust me when I say, bro, I can. I can destroy you, and I will destroy you. Because unlike everybody else, man, I know who you really are, and you forget that, motherfucker. You forget that. You forget that I could destroy your ass, fuck boy. So trust me when I say, I will be over to Kate's panel to show your ass up, faggot. So be ready. You know, Chance is a lot like, you know, Slim Shady, but with no talent. You know, he likes to talk that shit. You know, it's like people say, you know, he's bringing the fire, you know, like the old uh, wrestling fucking, uh, you know, uh, I'm the Undertaker, and I'm going to beat mankind. Mankind won't even see what he had coming. I, I like Cactus Jack, too, whenever he was Cactus Jack. That was pretty cool as well. I liked wrestling when I was growing up. It's sad when you realize it isn't real. UFC is pretty fake now, too. Like, any nobody would ever be able to eat Brock, beat Brock Lesnar, man. Back when the UFC was still real, he'd hit people so hard that... It would ripple from their ribs on this side and poke out on the other side kind of shit. Like, there's no way any human being could ever beat Brock Lesnar, any of those other guys. There's no way. But, yeah, let's, this, that's the end of that. You know, it's, I guess his old friends are turning on him, you know, but it's to be expected. And, you know, once word gets out there about how you are, Cyrax, you know, people just don't really want anything to do with you anymore. And, you know, can you really blame them? I mean, come on, man. Can you blame them? In the following clip, you threaten to kill people and you make fun of their dead mom and all kinds of fucked up shit. So, you know, there's not a lot of pity there for Cyrax for me. In the rain comes back. <laughs> no, 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 no
fucking man. You want to win your belt? Now you fucking punk ass bitch. After I showed you fucking support, after a mom died, motherfucker, I reached out to you and showed you love and respect, motherfucker. Our best friend Daly, who died, he be fucking ashamed of fucking that. Oh, by the way, don't do that. No, that wasn't even good friends. You're being disrespectful, my guess. The fuck does this don't involve you? Hey, shut up, this don't involve you. So but he's, this, like, he's just know. mad. He's this mad because of his, uh... If you don't want to go to war on the mic, boy, because I will destroy your fake-ass nigga. Please. <laughs> <laughs> You can't destroy that. Contract. You cannot use racial slurs. This is family. I'm playing, you fucking faggot ass motherfucker. And honestly, bro. No, no, hold up. I'm glad your mom's dead. Now you want to know why? Whoa, hey. Wow. That's not nice. Uh, that. dude, fuck. 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 Shut the fuck. Everybody shut the fuck and listen to that. The reason why I'm glad your mom's dead because the reason why she doesn't have to see you be a fucking punk ass bitch on the internet. Contract. And there's Cyrax going in and talking about people's dead fucking relatives and dead friends and all this other stuff and how that dead friend would be mad at his friend for turning on him and talking to people about him, you know. That's what Cyrax really doesn't like. He doesn't like when people talk about him because even his friends, you know, they 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 whenever they turn on him, they reveal some pretty, you know, into you know Cyrax's psychology, like whenever his one friend uh, was his best friend, and he was talking to his girlfriend behind his back, and you know that's just the kind of stuff you can expect out of Cyrax. Like I have, you know, I I have never met anyone in my life that would say "fuck your dead" this or that. You know what I mean? Fuck, you know, like Cyrax is this horrible little monster. He's an evil little goblin, though, isn't he? He's an evil fucking little goblin, man. Everything that boy does is gobbling the fuck out, man. Everything he says and thinks, and he's just a horrible, horrible, evil little goblin. You know, that's, he, he is. He's a horrible, evil little goblin. Yeah, let's watch some more of this. Shut the fuck up. Now, you said that Everything I ever sent you, you pussy motherfucker. I'm gonna you, pussy motherfucker. I'm gonna shut your ass. Don't even say anything. You just shut your ass. Don't even say anything. You just shut your ass. Don't even say anything. You just shut your ass. Don't even say You forget. No one out here knows you better than me. You forget that. You're an industry player. You punk ass. Oh, you are. You're a pussy, bro. You're scared, bro. I will destroy you. Every single time, I'm the one motherfucker you can't get rid of. You can't destroy me. Ask Eric Scrubwell. I ended his career. Ask Edward Boy. He's gone. Oh, Eric's gone. Eric's gone. Oh, 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 I've put up with a lot of stuff, Cyrax. I put up with you flashing your goblin peen. I put up with the <laughs> you like to do, but I draw the line at the racial epitaphs and the homophobic speech, sir. Okay? Fuck you. And that was right now. You do not want to go to war with me, so because you seem to forget that. No one here knows you better than me. When you were down that way. He doesn't one, know you at all, Cyrax. He doesn't uh, know uh, you at all. Kate, 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 Kate. Goblin used projection. It's not very effective. <laughs> Every man, he's always calling Kate the pedo because she caught him. You know, if uh, someone who says, there's 14 years, so, says they're 14 years old and they're talking to you, that's when you stop talking to them as an adult. This guy is 30-something years old, and he's sitting there, well, at the time, what was he, 28, 27, whatever. Anyway, way too old to be talking to a little girl, especially a 14-year-old. You know, at, at the age of, like, 26 or 27, you're getting to the point where you really shouldn't be trying to mess with 18-year-old girls, you know. It's kind of a creepy thing, you know. I'm a little bit older guy. I'm 38, so uh, whenever I, uh, you, kid. High school people look like they're 12 whenever you get to a certain age. They really do. I it's I don't know how to explain it. That they they don't look like I don't know, man. I thought we looked older whenever we were whenever I was younger, but I don't think we did. I think we looked like that to everybody else too. But yeah, that's all you got to expect out of Cyrax projection, the king of projection. 
Like, one time he was talking shit to Music as Marty, and he said something about living in his parents' basement. And I'm like, I'm just fucking, like, flabbergasted. And I, I thought it was funny whenever uh, John Block or whatever his name was died, Cyrax tried to say uh, that he mattered him in, in, you know, video game racing and all that. And since his car was number 43, he was going to start racing 43. That was the funniest shit ever, man. That's like, you know, because he's 43, you know, Cyrax the 43, and he was talking about making all the cars he raced with number 43 in honor of Ken Block. That would have been hilarious if he did. Mr. 43, you know, <laughs> get him a damn, uh, get him a Yugo or some shit like that or a fucking a big wheel. Yo, oh, shit, yeah, we're on a base shaman stream, I was watching it one time. And they, they fucking, they, yeah, Cyrax was looking up big wheels for adults. That was one of the fucking, that was one of the things that came down in his search menu, that goofy bastard, big wheels for adults. Well, you know, I think we could even get a, get him one of those, uh, oh, what are them tricycle ones, you know, not big wheels, big wheels, no, power wheels, yeah, big power wheels. Big wheels are the little little tricycle with the wheel on it. Yeah, yeah. That's what we should get Cyrax. We should get him a big wheel. I bet you he can still ride it. What is he, like four foot eight? But, yeah, let's finish this off and watch the rest of this. What's up, Jake? Do you have anything to say to Cyrax Oh, that's cool. It would, probably, it would probably be best if you just mute him for a second because, like, it would be cool to have a conversation, but he's just yelling. So he can't, sweetie. Um, he can't. He doesn't know. That you know, I yeah. And thus ends the uh, us covering the delusions and uh, you know psychotic ideations of old Cyrax. It must be fun to live in Cyrax's world. Where he's a famous musician and everybody loves him. He's a loving grandson. You know, people like him. You know, nobody likes Cyrax. I mean, honestly, man. How many people do you know who have beat up their fucking grandma or raped a blind kid or sent dick pics to a 14-year-old? I mean, you know, threaten to kill people's kids, threaten to kill people's family. Called Marty the, the horrific slur for Jews, the worst one, you know, the one that is real bad, you know, that you don't hear very often unless someone is a, you, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's the end of it. I had fun making this video. I hope you guys like watching. Uh, have a great day. Happy New Year. It's the third. So you guys have a good one later on. Bye.